It's more of the same in Double X's Knight Rider sequel, featuring a new voice actor for Kit, but apparently the same Michael Knight. They banter their way through another 11 missions of tedious driving and seek and destroy style missions. If we have to listen to Michael Knight call Kit Buddy one more time, yes, it might have been an integral part of the television show, but here it's just irritating and repetitive. But the good news is, you can now shoot at things. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. Kit has now been kitted out that with weapons that he can use throughout the story mode alongside his usual features. Kit now has lasers, a plasma gun, and a missile to melt random ice block aids in the road and to shoot at Goliath. Yes, because this is practically a reprise of the first game. Apart from the robots and weapons, almost everything is identical, including the badly designed missions and the Kojima length loading screens. And that's how best to define this game. It's the same as the first, but not quite as good. It's as if no effort was made to fix the faults of the first one, and by comparison it's like they just phoned it in, which on reflection, perhaps they did, it would explain a lot.